the UU effect in After Effects. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this text animation with the UU loop effect, squatch and scratch, text reveal, and more. Level 1 UU effect. Start by right clicking on your text layer, go to Create and choose Create Shapes from Text, giving us a bit more options to change and animate our text. Press Ctrl D three times to duplicate the layer. Enter and change the name to something appropriate to keep track of each layer and letter. Smash this little arrow here, go into contents, and as you can see, we have created some extra shape layers for each letter. Delete all except for Y in the first, then repeat the process for the rest of the layers, while keeping only the correct or matching one. Let's tidy up a bit in the timeline, hold Ctrl and press A to select all layers, then press U to collapse them. Mark each layer while holding Ctrl, then press Alt plus Home to center the anchor point and repeat for all four. Go forward to one second and split the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Head over to Effects and Presets and search for UU Loop and double click the effect to make it bounce like I will do some tweaking to the speed, lowering it to 40 and increasing the intensity to 75. Either keep or change the direction to down. Find the spot just after the highest point of the left O and trim the layer by pressing Alt plus left bracket, drag and sync it to the left, perhaps a little bit more. Drag out the layer to the right. Zoom in a bit, hold Alt and scroll on the mouse wheel. Drag down the horizontal ruler, hit Ctrl plus K if you can't see it and drag it together with the left O, just in line with the top of the other right O. We can just drag it up here in the timeline and mark both Ys. Hit P to see the position and Shift R to also bring up the rotation property. Go back to half a second and create a keyframe here for them all. Just hold the left mouse button and drag over them, then back or forward again to one second. Zoom in a bit again and find the sweet spot just before the drop. Drag in the left Y so it's just about touching the O. Then get his brother to line up with the left. Make them rotate a bit when creeping up on the O. Minus 2 degrees for the right and 2 for the left and adjust it slightly if needed. Find the middle between all keyframes with the time cursor, start with Y, right Y. Then hit him up for the next round against the right O with a light tap, creating a bit of anticipation. Now I've got an X or horizontal value of 1071.5, 36 higher than before at the half second mark. So I will match this here with 695.5 instead, 36 smaller than before at the half second mark. Also rotate the left Y a bit out to the left, minus 5 degrees, and his brother coming in from the right with 5 degrees. Then to go a bit easy on them, mark them all, then F9. Go back in the timeline to just before the right Y hits the right O. Press P and create a keyframe here. One frame to the right. Control plus arrow right. Go forward a few more frames and put out two more keyframes. Find the spot again just before the left O drops. Copy the first keyframe. Control plus C for the right O and paste it here. Control V. Mark them all and smooth this out as well with F9. Change the zoom back to fit and go forward to where the O is at the lowest. Copy and paste the last four keyframes for the Y rotation and position. Perhaps move them forward a little bit. Repeat the process, copy and paste them again at the bottom of the O. We will do a similar process for the right O. Find the spot one frame left of where the right Y hits the right O. Copy and paste. Adjust slightly. Precision is key. Then also paste one more round of keyframes, just when the Y smacks the O. Level 2. Squash and Scratch. To sell the animation a bit further, I want to introduce some small squash and scratch using the scale property. So mark the left O layer, hit S to see the scaling, create the first keyframe, one frame to the right of the beginning of the layer. Control plus arrow right to go forward, one frame. Change the vertical to 95 and make sure to unlink the scaling first. Then the horizontal value to 105. Go one more frame to the right, lower vertical to 90 and horizontal up to 110. Let's actually drag the keyframe out here so it changes a bit for the drop. Two frames before the lowest point. Then here we want to change the values opposite to before. First 105 vertically and 95 horizontally. One more frame right and go up to 110 and down to 90. 
that we would just repeat the process with copy and paste to just about where the two whites hit the left O again and one last time to the furthest right. Last ones we won't need, like those extra cookies. Tempting, but unnecessary. Mark them all and again press F9 to ease them. Since I want the two Y's to go in for the punch a bit faster on the O, let's mark them all and go into the speed graph. We need to find a spot where they collide and drag out the keyframes to raise the curve and thus speed up the animation here. That will be the second one, creating this smooth start with gradually increasing speed. Repeat with the fourth and sixth keyframe as well, every second keyframe. Finish the first animation off with a bit of motion blur. Tick these boxes by pressing and dragging over them. Mark all letter shape layers, press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose them and tick the motion blur box here as well. Level 3, text reveal. For the second animation, go to half second mark in the timeline, press Alt plus left bracket to trim the UU comp layer, mark the UU text layer and Alt plus right bracket to also trim this one but in the other direction and swap or change the order of the layers. Now go into the layer contents, pressing this little arrow here, click on animate. And we need the properties for opacity and position. I will use the ruler again to match up the animation just underneath the text. Then drag the text down under it at 161 for me. Let's also drag down the opacity all the way down to zero. Go into range selector one, get rid of the ruler, then change the offset to minus 100% and create the first keyframe. Move forward to two frames left of the end. Drag this up all the way to 100%. To smooth this out, click on advanced and change ease high to 20% and ease low to 100%. Just don't forget to also change the shape here from square to ramp up to get that revealing effect. Ctrl plus A to mark all layers and U to collapse them. To keep the movement going in the animation, let's mark the UU text layer, press P for position, then click the stopwatch icon here while holding Alt to get up the expression properties. Right wiggle and I will use 10 for the frequency or speed and 5 for the amplitude or movement. And that's it, here's your final animation. Check out the next one.